Hi everyone, today we are going to continue working on our RTS camera control. We are going to add functionality so that when the user clicks the middle mouse button and moves the mouse from right to left, the camera will rotate and when he moves the, camera, the mouse up and down, the camera changes the elevation. We are going to add functionality to control the speed of this movement from the editor and we are going to let the user control the minimum elevation and maximum elevation so that you'll have a better control over how the controller behaves. As always, there are timestamps in the description for specific implementation details and the link to a GitHub page with the final version of the camera. Let's get started. Back in our project, we are going to go to the RTS camera controller script and we are going to do some cleanup of our export params code because we are going to be adding a lot of them this time. We are going to mark our movement param params we're, and we are going to add another headline for our rotation parameters and another one for flags. We are going to add the following parameters. The first one is going to be the minimum angle we allow the camera to be. The second one is going to be the maximum elevation that we allow the camera to be. The third one is how fast is the rotation going to happen. And I will also added a flag that could block the rotation from happening at all. The reason for this flag is if we ever want to use this camera controller in a project and we want to block the rotation, we want to have an easy way of doing it without diving into the code. We are now going to implement the rotate function. We are going to call it from our process function and we are also going to send it the delta parameter because we want to scale the movement by delta. As you can see, rotate is going to be a private function which gets one float as a parameter being delta and return nothing. We will first calculate the mouse movement. We are going to use the horizontal displacement to rotate and we are going to use the vertical displacement to elevate. To keep our code clean, we are going to separate our implementation of rotate to several functions. The first one is going to be, to be called get mouse displacement it is going to return a vector 2 and for now we're going to return an empty one in order to use this function we're going to need a variable called last mouse position and we are going to initialize it to a an empty vector 2. We are now going to use this variable by first asking for the current mouse position calculating the displacement updating the last mouse position and returning the displacement. We can now call this function in our rotate function we are now going to implement 
the rotation to the left and to the right. We are going to call the functions called rotate left right. We are going to send to this function the delta n, the displacement, in the x-axis. We are now going to implement this function is going to be a private function and delta is going to be a float and the value that we want to displace in is also going to be a float. This function is going to return nothing and is going to work like this. This function is extremely straightforward. All we need to do is go to our rotation in degrees y-axis and simply add our value scaled by delta and rotation speed and this should already work for rotating the camera left and right let's press run we can see that by moving the mouse to the left and to the right we are rotating around the center. You might have noticed that we are currently always trying to rotate the camera, but we want to only rotate when the user presses the middle mouse button. For this purpose, we are going to go into our project setting and adding the camera rotate input type we're going to set it to a mouse button and we're going to set it to the middle button we're now going to override a different function we're going to override the unhandled input function and we're, the reason we are using the unhandled input is because we don't want to be dragging the camera when we are over any UI element We are going to set another parameter. We are going to call it var is rotating. And we are going to set it to false. In the unhandled input, we are going to test if we are rotating. And so if event dot is action pressed camera rotate we're going to set the is rotating to be true and if event is action released camera rotate we're going to set is rotating to false now in our rotate function we can ask if not is rotating or not we're going to t see if the flag for allow rotation is false we can simply return now when we press F5 you see that nothing happens but when I press the middle mouse button I rotate around You can see that the first time I'm pressing the middle mouse button, I get this jump. The reason for that is I'm initializing the last mouse position to be vector 2, 0, 0. To avoid this, we're going to move into our unhandled input, and when we start rotating, we're going to save the current mouse position. So, last mouse position is going to be get viewport and get the mouse position now when we run we don't get this jump and we can rotate around the same way we want 
it can now also test the rotation speed and set it also to be 20. And now when we rotate, you can see that the rotation is much more responsive and I think I like this value better than 10. Now, after doing most of the work, all we need to implement is the elevate function. So, the elevate function, very much like rotate left right, is going to get delta and the displacement in the y axis. We're going to implement it here. This function is going to work like this. We are first going to calculate new elevation, clamp the new elevation between the minimum and maximum values, then set the new elevation based on the clamped value. So our new elevation is going to be controlled by the rotation of the elevation node. As you can see, if we rotate the elevation node to a negative value, and I'm going to use the preview mode again so we can better see this, if I rotate the x value of the elevation node, the camera moves up and down. For that purpose, we're going to first cache the elevation node because anything that is being called in the process function is going to happen on every frame and we don't want to find a node every frame. So here we are going to say on ready var elevation is going to be the elevation node. Now we can have a new variable called new elevation and set it to elevation dot rotation degrees in the x axis and we can edit add to it the value scaled by delta and by rotation speed. going to zoom out a little bit so we can see everything. We now want to clamp the new elevation so we set new elevation to be equal to clamp new elevation and as we saw negative values are higher so we need to clamp it between the negative of the maximum elevation and the negative of the minimum elevation angle. Now take the elevation rotation degrees in the x-axis and set it to new elevation. And that's it. If we now press run, we can see that by clicking middle mouse button and moving left and right we rotate the camera around and by moving up and down we move the camera up and down. One thing we didn't check before is did our use of the basis of the object and not just adding a set amount to the camera translation is working so now let's rotate the camera around and press W on our keyboard and we can see that we are always going to be moving towards where the camera is pointing. One last thing is you can see now that when I drag up the camera moves up. This is called inverted Y and some people like it that way. I myself don't like it so 
we need to add a small change. The change is, instead of adding the value, we're going to subtract it. But to support those weird people who like inverted y, we can add another flag. Call invert y, maybe inverted y, and set it to false for normal people. And now, instead of just doing this calculation here, we can add an if else. So if inverted y, else, we set the new elevation to be just the value of the rotation in degrees. And now we can do new elevation minus gets this value. If inverted y, we are going to add the value, and otherwise we are going to subtract this value, and then we are going to do the same thing with the clamp and the change, and you can see that if I unmark the inverted y, the functionality is what most people are used to when dragging a camera around, and if we set the inverted y to be true, you can see that they get the behavior we got before with the inverted y dragging. So I hope it wasn't too confusing uh, right now at the end, uh, the part about this if else statement. Feel free to just copy it this way. And uh, that's it for uh, the rotation. And that is all for this video. In the next one, we're going to implement the zoom functionality. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comments and I will answer. See you next time. Goodbye.